Good morning. In today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, a particular topic in mathematics known as the relationship between uh, curved surface area of a cone and a sector. So, at the end of this first period, the student should be able to write the expression that is connecting the arc length of a sector and the circumference of the circular base of the cone. To, they should be able to derive radius of the base of the cone from arc length of the sector and three they should be able to find the perpendicular height of the cone from the sector and the angle of the sector perpendicular height of the cone and the angle of the sector okay as we were saying this is a typical example of a cut out cardboard of uh, a sector like if you look at it you see this is the sector but if you use this edge to touch this edge you will have what we know as a cone look at it very well you have a cone and that's what we want to think about the first thing here that you need to notice is when you use this radius of this uh, sector this is the radius of the sector if you use it to touch the other side other radius this space is no more the radius it's not going to give us the slant height which is l of the cone is going to give us the slant height of the cone where this base is going to form a circular base circular base this base is going to form the circular base and from that circular base we have the radius which is any distance to the center from this circular base remember for every circular object to calculate the circumference or the total distance cover we use this formula which is 2 pi r this 2 pi r is talking about the total distance covered by this uh, circular base. But for this uh, sector now, we have this space to be the arc length. And the total distance of this arc length is given as theta over 360 times 2 pi r. I use this capital letter r because it is the radius of the sector here. And I use this small letter r because it is the radius of the circular base of the cone. Now, if you notice, another thing is this arc length is the total circular base, the total circular base of this cone. Therefore, we can write the expression by connecting them mathematically as the theta over 360 times 2 pi r equals to 2 pi r. What I mean is this arc length, when you use it to form this cone, is going to give you the total circumference of the base which is this 2 pi r. Now, if now want to know the relationship between the radius of this sector and the radius of this uh, cone. What you need to do is, we have 2 pi here, we have 2 pi here. You can say divide both sides by 2 pi. If I divide both sides by 2 pi, divide both sides by 2 pi. Since 2 pi is common, if I divide this side by 2 pi, I'm going to have theta all over 360 times 2 pi r divided by 2 pi equals to 2 pi r divided by 2 pi this 2 pi is going to remove this 2 pi this 2 pi is removing this one therefore we have theta all over 360 times capital letter r which is the radius of the sector equals to the radius of the base of the cone so, therefore, if you look at it now, from our first objective here, from our first objective here, to write the expression connecting the sector and the circumference of the base of the, uh, uh, of the cone, we have to do this. That's our first object, objective. You understand? This is the relationship between uh, the arc length of the sector and the circumference of the base of the cone. That's the first uh, uh, relationship for the The second one is that if you remove the two pi that is at the back of this uh, small r and this big r, you are going to have theta times r over this is still equals to r, and that is the second objective of today's lesson, which is to derive the radius of the base of the cone from an arc length of the sector and this is now to talk about the perpendicular height of any cone. What we need to do is draw the cone. This is our cone. This is the base radius, the radius of the base of the cone, which is r. To find this one, we need the 
perpendicular height. This is our perpendicular height. And this is the arc length, which is L. Remember, this arc length is the same thing as uh, the radius of the sector. This arc length is the same thing as the radius of the, uh, of the sector. Remember that when we use it to touch each other, this arc from the arc length of the uh, radius of the cone. Now, if you have a right angle triangle like this, remember from our Pythagoras theorem, we have Pythagoras theorem that say that the square on the hypotenuse side equals to the sum of square on the other two sides. Therefore, we have L square equals to H square plus R square by Pythagoras. Pythagoras by Pythagoras. Now, from this one now, we have our R and R length to be this. We have our H to be this. If you rearrange it by collecting the light times, we have our perpendicular height equals to what? Equals to L square minus R square. And that is that. Remember that our L is what? Is the big radius. That is radius of the sector. Therefore, H square equals to R square minus small r. And this is the relationship connecting them. This is the how to find the argument. That's how to find the perpendicular height, which is x squared equals to r squared minus small r squared. Okay, now to find the angle, to find this angle in related to, in relation to this one, all you need to do is using this relation here, that is theta all over 360 times r equals to r. If you cross multiply from this side, remember we have this r over 360 equals to r. If you cross multiply, we have theta r uh, equals to 360r. Therefore, we have our theta equals to 360r all over r. Uh, and this is the relationship between uh, the theta, which is the angle of the sector, and the small r and the big r. That is the radius of the sector and uh, radius of the base of the cone. Yeah. Now, at the end of the first period, we should be able to at least derive the relationship between uh, the sector and the cone. That is the radius of the sector and the base radius of the cone. Which, I said, when you have your cardboard and you use it to touch each other, as I did earlier, you will discover that this radius of this sector is going to form the slant height of the cone. And we are going to have circular base, which is the same thing, the same thing with the arc length. This circular base, which is the same thing with arc length, and the circumference of every circular base is given as two pi r. Why it is the same thing for the sector to be theta over three sixty two pi r. Now, if you relate them using this relation, we have theta over three sixty times two pi r, which this capital letter have is radius of this sector. Don't forget that. And this small r is for the base of the cone. Then if you remove 2 pi, remove 2 pi, we are going to have our small r, which is the radius of the base of the cone, to equal to theta over 360 times r, which is capital letter r, the radius of the center. That was the first two relation. Now the second one is using this cone to find the perpendicular height. All you need is join your perpendicular height to the base radius of the cone. Then remember our slant height to be the L. Therefore, from Pythagoras theorem, the square of the hypotenuse side, which is this L, equals to the sum of square in order to size L square equals to A square plus R square by Pythagoras. Now, rearranging them by collecting the light terms, we have this H to be L square minus R square, which is this. Remember that L in for each cone, this sector radius is the same thing as the slant height. Therefore, you can replace it with that uh, sector radius. You have to be big R. Therefore, H squared is R squared minus small r squared. And at the end of this period, you should be able to uh, derive all this. Now, for this theta, for the theta part, remember this relation. Then make theta the subject of the formula here. By cross multiplying and make theta the subject, we have our theta to be this. So therefore, at the end of this uh, lesson, you should be able to write the expression connecting the arc length and sector.
of a circle. Secondly, she's able to derive the radius of the base of cone from an arc length of the sector. And thirdly, she'll be able to find the perpendicular height, which is this edge for this relation. Thank you. So, at the end of this period, this is your evaluation question. Number one, derive the expression connecting arc length of a sector and cone. Question two, with a suitable diagram, write the formula for perpendicular height of the cone. And number three, using the relationship between radius, radius of the sector and base radius of the cone, write the formula for and theta of the sector. Thank you. You are welcome back to the second period of this uh, class, the relationship between the area of the cone and sector. And our objective at the end of the second period should be able to use the relationship to find the radius of cone and radius of sector using the relationship. Then two, we should be able to find the angle of the sector. We should be able to find the area of cone and find the volume of cone. Thank you. Example one now. A sector of a circle of radius 8 cm subtends an angle 90 degree at the center of the circle. Full stop. If the sector is folded without overlap to form the curved surface of a cone, find one the base radius of the cone, two the height, particular height of the cone, and three the volume of the cone. Solution now. Solution. The first thing is remember the relationship between a uh, sector and cone. I said the arc length of a sector is equal to the circumference of the base of the cone. Therefore, we have theta over 360 times 2 pi r. I use capital letter r for radius of sector equals to 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the base of the cone. If these two pi, remove these two pi, then r equals to theta over 360 times r. From the equation, our capital letter r, that this radius of the sector is 8 centimeter, is 8 centimeter, where r equals to 8 centimeter. Then we have our base radius r, which is the small r, equals to our theta and theta equals to 90 degrees, and that is the angle sustained sustained by that sector. Then we now have it to be 90 degrees divided by 360 degree times our half, which is 8, which is 8, which is 8. Then 90 times 8 divided by 360. Then, Okay, now 90 times 8 will give you 720 divided by 360. Therefore, we have our half equals to 360 divided by 720 will give you 720 divided by 360 will give you 2 centimeter. And that is the base radius of the cone. Now to find the to find the perpendicular height. We are looking for the perpendicular height. Remember that we have this to be this is the cone. This is the base radio they are talking about. This is the perpendicular height they are looking for. This base is 2 cm calculated. That is the base radius. This base is the radius of the sector. Radius of the sector. L equals to half. Remember that. Which is the radius of the sector and it is given as what? 8 cm. So the question it has been given to be 8 cm. Then, if you notice this one is a right angle triangle, you can use the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem stated that R squared which is L square, equals to 8 square plus small r square. Then from this one, we are looking for our perpendicular height, collecting the light times, taking this radius to the other side, we have 8 square equals to r square minus r square. That's the relationship between perpendicular height and the two radius. Now, our 8 square equals to, remember our height to be 8 centimeter, we have it to be 8 square minus our small r is what, 2 centimeter. Centimeter. 8 square will now equal to 64 minus, minus 
minus 4. 8 squared equals to 64 minus 4 equals 60. Why our age equals to root 60? Root 16 will give us 7.75 centimeter. Okay, now for the third part, which is volume of the cone. Remember that volume of cone is given as 1 over 3 pi r squared h. That is the formula for the volume of a cone. Therefore, our pi equals to 22 over 7. Our r, which is the small r, that is the radius of the base of this, this thing, is given as 2. Then our h now calculated to be what? 7.75 centimeter centimeter. Then you substitute all these values to this formula. We have our volume of cone equals to 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times our r, which is 2 raised to power 2 times the height, which is 7.75. Therefore, this one is 4. Therefore, we have 1 over 3 times 22 times 4 times 7.75. From this one now, we can have it to be, okay, this one is over 7. Yeah, we can have it to be 22 times 4 times 7.75, everything over 21, that is 7 times 7, or any better, 7 times 7 times 3 is that is this 3 and this 7, 7 times 3. Then we have volume to be 22 times 4 times 7.75, everything over 21. That's all this value from your calculator, we have the answer to be 32 times 4 by centimeter cube. Thank you. Approximated to mark incredible so it's what it starts, which can be approximated to be 32.5 centimeter cube. Okay, example two now. A cone of height 12 centimeter has a base radius of 9 centimeter. Period. If the shape is cut and opened out into a sector of a circle, what is the what is the angle of the sector? What is the what is the angle of the sector angle of the sector solution now this is a cone from this cone now the height is 12 to f to be the height and as a base radius of 9 therefore the radius is 9 9 centimeter if it is cut out, we now cut it from this side to form a sector. To form a sector. And also, what is the angle of the sector? What is the angle of the sector? Now, this L, which is the slant height, if it is cut, it's going to be the hard A, which is the radius of the sector, right? And we are looking for this angle. Remember the relationship between cone and sector. We have theta over 360 times 2 pi r equals to 2 pi r. Capital letter r for this radius of a sector. Don't forget that small r for the base radius, which is 9 centimeters. Now, if you relate these two together now, let 2 pi cancel 2 pi. We now have theta over 360 times r equals to, equals to r. From the question given to us, we are looking for this. Uh, we are looking for this theta. This radius, that is radius of the sector, is not given. That is the slant height, and we are looking for this. We have been given this radius, which is the base radius of the uh, cone. We can find this capital uh, using the relationship between small radius and this capital letter uh, with the perpendicular height. I mean the Pythagoras theorem. From the Pythagoras theorem, it is given as r squared, which is this big r equals to h squared plus r squared. And we are looking for this hard now. We are given our h to be what? To be the perpendicular height, which is 12 square plus our radius, that is base radius to be 9, 9 
square. Don't forget, we have h equals to 2f and half equals to 9. Then from these two now, we have this one to be 144 plus 81. 144 plus 81 will give you 225. Therefore, R square equals to 225. Then our half equals to root of 225. Therefore, our half equals to 15 centimeter. That is the half. Now, you can now come and put this R in this relation here. But remember, we are looking for this theta. Make it theta the subject. The, make the third relation I gave you. We have this one to be theta as over 360 equals to half. Cross multiply, we have theta r uh, equals to 360 half. The Bible said like this uh, theta equals to 360 half uh, over the r. Uh. Now, from this one now, we substitute for all those values. Our small r, uh, which is 9, at its radius of the base of the cone, then our big r, uh, which is 15, at its radius of the sector. Therefore, we have our theta. Theta equals to 360 times 9, which is the base radius, divided by 15. Divided by 15. Therefore, our theta, theta equals 216 degrees. Okay, example 3 now. Find the area of the curved surface of the cone generated by the sector of this of a circle and radius of 12 centimeter and arc length of 22 centimeter solution. Remember the relationship between uh, cone and sector. That's the most important thing. We have theta all over 360 times 2 pi half equals to 2 pi half. If this one remove this, yes, we have our radius of the sector. Theta over 360 times r equals to r. But since we have been given the arc length to be 22, since the arc length is 22, therefore theta over 360 times 2 by r equals to 22. If this one is equals to 22, we can find the radius to be theta times a 360 equals to 22 all over 2 pi. Okay, remember that this one equals to 2 pi r, and from here, let me remove this one. Don't need it. We have theta over 360 times 2 pi r equals to 2 pi. Ha. Since this one equals to this one, therefore this one is the same thing as this one. Therefore, 2 pi r equals to 22. Equals to 22. Now our radius should be r equals to 22. The Bible said by 2 pi over 2 pi. Over 2 pi. Therefore, r equals to this one, remove this one, that 11 divided by pi. 11 divided by pi. This one, remove this one to 11. Then r equals to 11 divided by 22 over 7. Then r equals to 11 divided by 22 over 7. Then 11 times 7 over 22. This one comes to this one equal. Now of our half, r equals to 7 over 2. Okay. Our curved surface area, which is A, equals to pi R A. Remember this A is the same thing as our radius of the sector. Therefore, we have it to be A equals to 22 over 7 times this one, which is 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 times our arc Where is our arc to be 12? To be 12. Therefore, our arc length is 12, that will be 12. Then from this one now, we have A equals to 22 times 7 times 2F over 
This one can be this one. We have it to be 14. You can start reviewing it. We have here to we have here we have no we have here we have seven which is two here seven two here should be eleven. Then we have this one cancel this one here for eleven times two f which is one two three and that is the area centimeter square. Okay. I believe at the end of this second period, my students should be able to solve numerous problems on the uh, sector and code. And if you still have any other question when we meet online, you can ask your question. Gather your question, download your notes from the school portal, and do all the assignment there. Thank you. When we meet online, we'll continue.